2 Samuel chapter 9 gives us this incredible story about King David looking for anyone left in the house of Saul for the sake of his friend Jonathan. And we learn that there is one person, a man named Mephibosheth, and the word goes out about Mephibosheth. Bring this crippled man to the city of David to see the king. So all the arrangements were made, and on that particular day, they brought forth this man. And David exclaimed, Mephibosheth! And Mephibosheth falls to the ground, and he quickly says, I am your servant. And David responds back, Don't fear, for I will show you kindness for the sake of your father, Jonathan. You see, Mephibosheth made the trip in great fear that he would be executed. After all, that's just what happens to rivals in a kingdom. He had tried to live out his life in obscurity. He had tried to lay low in Lodabar, but he had been found. And now there was great fear manifested in his life. This is where it all ends, he thought. But to his great surprise, his fears were removed for the sake of his father, Jonathan. He had not come to an execution. He had come to a celebration. It's a terrifying thing to stand before the Holy One of Israel dressed in your crippledness and helplessness, having nothing but the burden of your rebellion and sin on your back. We are right to be in fear. We had better be in fear. But because of the covenant of redemption that the Father made with the Son, the Father calls out to us, Fear not. I will show you covenant kindness for the sake of my Son, the Christ. When a believer in Christ comes before the Father, that person comes, not dressed in his burden of rebellion and sin, but rather dressed in the righteousness and goodness and perfections of Christ with all the reasons to fear God as a just judge removed and all the reasons to seem as a father instead on your behalf. As you pray today, please remember Joe and Myra Costa, our missionaries in Lebanon. And also remember the Hangaza LifeWord broadcast that's heard throughout Rwanda, Congo, and Niger. Thank you.